Hello guys, it's John from WP Mayor and today we have Royal Slider, a plugin which is designed to build uh, sliders for WordPress and this plugin is available from Code Canyon. The price of it is just $20 and it's been sold already almost 8,000 times. So that's a huge amount of sales in the almost a year and a bit that the plugin has been out. The buyer rating of this plugin is 5 star. That's an amazing response from people who have purchased the plugin. So let's go ahead and see how it works. So here we are in admin and we've got the Royal Slider menu item added and it's very easy to get started with the plugin. We're just going to go ahead and create a new slider. So the first pop-up that comes up and you will see that there are five different options. Let's take a quick look at what these options stand for. The custom slider allows you to upload your own images and thus build a slider based on those images. The slider from your posts grabs the data from the posts on your site, existing posts. Then we have the 500px and Flickr gallery integration which might be very ideal for photographers and finally we have the default wordpress gallery now this last option is used for replacing a wordpress gallery with a slider i'm going to go ahead and create a slider from my existing posts and here we go we have the screen for creating a new slider so let's go ahead and give it a name i'm gonna name it latest posts from my blog okay so now we have the post settings on the left hand side so let's take a look at those by the way as you can see there are all the way all around the, the interface there's a lot of help given to you in the form of these short snippets so you never really lost when using the plugin. That makes it very ideal for beginner users. But as we shall see later, it's also very good for developers. Okay, so back to our settings. We have the opportunity to choose what post type we need to fetch our data from. So this can be a post, a page, or any other custom data, custom post type that we would have created. Then we can select the number of items in our slider. I'm just gonna leave it at five. And we can also choose the order. So it's the date order, or you can also choose comments. The option of choosing comments enables you to build a slider of your most popular posts. Obviously, the posts which have the most comments will be the most popular on your blog. At least that's the logic used in the slider. Also, you can include categories tags and formats. So you can say I just want to fetch posts which are in the machinery category and also have the tags famous and forest. Okay. So that's controlled by the relation option plus these checkboxes down here. Passing on to the right hand of the screen we'll find the general options which is actually my favorite part of this plugin. Here we find 11 templates and also a few skins. There's actually four skins. So the templates control the general structure of your slider, while the skin control the display. Let's give an example. You've also got a handy preview slider button here, so you can always see what you're messing around with all immediately you know before going into the front end so you don't have to switch back and forth between the two so here's a preview of the light skin and this template right here which by the way gets the photo from the post the title and also the content let's say i want to remove the title from my slider see how easy it is you just go here and remove the title which is contained in this h3 so that's the line i have to remove 
there's there are these tags here and if we go ahead and remove that we shouldn't see the title anymore so there you have it we've just made an easy modification and removed the title from our slider going back again we can even do something different let's say i want a different color for my title you can even add CSS styles here. Let's make that white. Preview again. And you've got the white title, which obviously looks much better on another skin, a darker skin. So there you have it. You can easily change styles from one template to another. It's very easy, therefore, for a beginner to change the way a slider looks. There are also many other features with regards to display, which I won't be going into, but here they are. You've, you can really play with this slider as you wish. It's really amazing how much power it gives to a beginner to be able to modify and play with the whole display of this plugin of the slider so that was a quick video to cover the functionality of this plugin what can i say this plugin is a really amazing slider plugin one of the best i've played around with lately and at the price of 20 dollars it's uh, hard to beat the value for money which you'll get with this plugin definitely one of the best plugins there is you won't go wrong with royal slider highly recommended by wp mayer